Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am so happy that you're here. Um, recently I did the review video on the 45 count Ganji markers as well as the 48 count Ganji aka Touch Cool markers. And Barbara had made a comment that um, was very valid. Many of us have used the Cali Arts for a very long time and they have been our go-to markers. They've worked wonderful and I had made the comment that, you know, the 50 or, you know, 50 or 40 Cali Art pack versus the 45, 48 Ganji Touch Cool pack that you may be better off with the Ganjis, like price-wise. And she had brought up that we don't know how much ink is in the Ganges. We don't know how quickly they may go bad or the nibs may go soft. So I thought, hey, let's have a battle between the Janji and the Cali Art. I rarely, if ever, use my black markers. Um, I know for a fact this marker has never been used, and I know for a fact this marker had never been used until I did just the simple borders around the page to make things go a little faster. Um, I pulled my Cali Art out that was in my original Cali Art set that's only a few months old, but it seemed like it wasn't working as well as I would hope it would. So to give the Cali Art 100% benefit of the doubt completely out of the gate, I switched out to the black Cali art that is in my brand new Cali art set that I received about a week before Christmas. And I know for a fact it's never been used. So what we're basically going to do is we are just going to put black ink onto paper and we are going to see when this marker gives out. And once the marker gives out, then that's when we'll know that we are at the end of the road with that marker. We will move to the other marker and I have the pages labeled here so I can keep up with that. And then we'll just we'll just kind of see. It'll be a cute little video. I wanted to try to be able to speed up the video through the, um, the, the actual marking. But I'm going to be honest, I don't think I'm going to be able to figure that out. It's, I'm going to figure all this filming stuff out. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. And all I'm simply doing is laying just black lines down on the paper. And then we'll just get an idea. This is not scientific. I am trying to be as straight as possible. I can't guarantee I'm being as straight as possible always. But at least it will give us an idea. And um, I don't know. I don't know what to expect from either of these markers, to be quite honest. Um, I've seen tests like this be performed before. And they looked interesting. Um, again, they're not scientific. You know, you can't be 100% precise with every line. Um, so, and as you see, I'm definitely not being, I need to work on this here. Um, but yeah, the idea is to just to try not to overlap too terribly much. And just kind of check and see what we end up with. And these are just very quick swipes across the paper. Um... standard pressure that I would use if I were coloring in an area. I still don't know what's up with these ganjis and squeaking, but when I used the Cali Art earlier, it squeaked just a little bit on me also. So maybe my markers have been squeaking and I just haven't really ever noticed. So if any of you do not want to sit through this entire process. Just hit the fast forward button and you can get all the results at the end of the video. But this was just something that I thought might be interesting. And as you see, I'm not getting as much in some areas as others. Um, you're going to get that when you do you know, just quick uh, swipes. And as you can see, I can't draw a straight line, and this is why I color and I don't draw. <laughs> oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. Oh, 
Oh, to be able to draw a straight line. And it, it could be the angle, kind of the angle that I'm at. I don't know. Okay, we have one page with the John G. Done. Let's move to a page two with John G. I only did two pages for each of the markers, and I mean, I was just, I have no idea what's going to happen, but I didn't want to sit and do all the black if we would um, not use them. So I figure if I get to the end of this page and I need another page, I will just simply pause the video, fix the corners of the page, and yeah, and we'll go right back at it. The noise is horrible, I know. Oh, goodness. I'm going to spend some time this evening trying to look at a couple different video editors and see what is out there. It does seem like it might be getting a little lighter with the same amount of strokes as, you know, the same. And I know a lot of people who conduct these tests will give the markers a rest and let them kind of recuperate. I don't know that I'm feeling all that. Um, I think that you're going to be able to get a general idea just using the chisel tip and putting it down until it's not working anymore doing the same with the other marker. Both markers have been stored laying on their sides. Therefore, they should have approximately the same distribution of ink. Yeah, it's getting pretty streaky. But it does look like we're going to make it over to page three. What will the Cali Arts do? Oh, this noise. <laughs> that squeaky, squeaky noise. Okay. Let's do, maybe we could let a page rest, or let the marker rest for just a little bit. I'll put that to the side, put the Ganji marker on top of it, and then we will move over to the Cali Arts. That way, I don't have to pause the video right now and try to put more black ink on corners of paper. Because who knows, the Cali Art may not want to hold out much better than this one, and I may not need any more than just one extra sheet. We'll see. Okay, so we're going in. This is the brand new Cali Art. See what happens. Exact same pressure, exact same speed. I had to use the black marker because, um, well, I could not bear to sacrifice a color. I thought long and hard about it, and I was like, oh, no, I'm not sacrificing my color. And this is probably one of the least scientific tests, but what we can also do, since I don't use black markers, when we finish this up, I can get a pair of um, maybe pliers or something, and I can take these markers apart, and we can see what the inside of these markers look like, 
and compare them to each other. Um, we can look at the size of the um, the little cottony insert that's on the inside, compare them to each other, and see what it looks like in there. You know, see what the differences are in these markers. Doing much better with the straighter lines with the Cali art. <laughs> My goodness. They're still not straight, but they're straighter. I hope you guys are having a great week. Anything special going on this week? What have you been doing? Tell me in the comments. Okay, page one of Cali Art, done. Page two of Cali Art. Let's do this. Have you guys ever conducted any little experiments of your own with your coloring supplies? And if so, what did you experiment with? It does seem like the Cali art is holding out a little better through page two, I will admit. You know, the John G's had a second to rest a little bit. And we'll put some lines on another paper and we'll start with page three. So I have no doubt both of these markers are definitely gonna make it into their third page. And this is just regular old computer printer paper. I did not want to use any of my cardstock or anything like that. So, but it is the exact same type of paper, same brand, everything to make it as fair as possible for these markers. Now I can't hardly keep a straight line. <laughs> okay. Let's give the Cali art a rest for a minute. We will be right back. All right, we are back. These are the Cali Arts, and let's go. I made one on more page. We'll see if we need a fourth. We may or may not. I have high hopes for the Cali Art. The John G does seem to be giving out a good bit right now, and that could be bad, but let's see what it does, because at the end of the day, they are still much cheaper. I checked the current price for Cali Arts. A 40 pack of Cali Arts are $23.99 right now. And that's for a 40 pack of the Cali Arts. And the 45 pack of the John G's are $8.19. The 48 count of the Ganges Touch Cool are currently unavailable. Hopefully those will come back into stock. 
I wondered out of pure curiosity if I should test that 48, the black that came in that 48 set. What do you guys think? When we get to the end of this video, um, we'll see how I'm feeling about this whole situation and maybe we'll go ahead and throw some ink down out of that marker also. But I'm going to be honest, I had absolutely no idea how long it would take to get to the end of these markers. So that's why I had not intended to do the black out of both sets. But maybe. And I don't know, I mean I'm hoping those 48's come back in stock. So if you have not bought the 45 set, and if you are kind of on the fence, you might want to go ahead, check the link below, buy it now, because the 48s did go out of stock, and it is saying they don't know when or if they'll be back in stock, so we don't know. Okay, that put us to page four and three in Tally Arts. I'm just going to go ahead and start page four and right here on camera. I wasn't wanting to do that, but it it's so much slower, I think, when you try to put these lines here so you're not running, you know, out of the page as bad. So down below, there will be a link to the 45-piece Ganges as well as the a 40 piece Cali Arts, which is currently $23.99. But if anybody is interested in that, but I mean, it does seem that you know, Barb, it looks like the Cali Art definitely probably does have a little more ink. So you just have to kind of look at it price-wise. Um, even if it only had half as much ink, that would be $16.38 compared to $23.99. So technically, it's still a better deal if you had to buy, if you had to buy two packs of the 45s, you would be getting five more markers than you get with the 40 Cali Arts plus you um, would still be saving a good bit of money. So if it's half the ink, I still say the John G's are the better deal. Um, if it's any more than half the ink, then you kind of have to um, look at it a little different. That would be 20, you could buy three packs for what, 2460? So I don't know. You could almost buy three packs. You can almost buy three packs of these 45 count Jonjis for what you can buy one 40 count Cali Art. So truly, if there is um, even a third of the ink, you're still coming out maybe a little better when you take into account that you're getting five extra markers in each set, 45 opposed to um, 40. And that's, you know, kind of how I have to play things out in my mind when I'm trying to figure out prices. So we'll see. It's our fourth page of the Kelly Arts. I wasn't sure we would make it this far with any of these markers. Now I'm kind of thinking, you know, you can start running out of ink anytime now. <laughs> Lots of paper. Okay. Yeah, I, I can tell you right now, we're not going to get this much, I don't think, out of the John G's at all. It would shock me at this point, um, just seeing how the John G was working. 
but it's it's resting. We'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Okay, Cali Art's starting to give out. And I don't know, at this point, honestly, I would not consider this marker um, good to color with. I don't think, well, I don't know. If you go really slow, you can still get full coverage, see? You just have to go real slow with it. So we'll see. my Bradley boy. if I can just go back and forth. <laughs> okay. Is that four going on five or what was that for Cali Art? One, two, three. It's five pages. This will be five. No. Two, three, four, five. This is page six for Cali Art. Go Cali Art. So this is where we would reach the halfway point. If I'm able to finish one more page with the Jonjis, we'll reach the half, where it would have half as much usage. And we will see from there. And, you know, here's my thought too. Um, if the nibs hold up really well, then you can always buy um, ink refills that are close and refill the markers. So you would be getting 45 markers um, at a much cheaper price that you could refill yourself if you want you know, to add the ink and not um, you know, just throw the marker away. So you can keep that in mind too when you're making um, a purchasing decision. And you know, that's kind of where I wanna be right now. There's a few other brands of markers that you know I'd kinda of like to try, but I think I've reached the point that I'm going to start going through like Blix or Copic or Chameleon or you know something like that and buying a replacement ink and starting to refill fill my budget friendly marker opposed to throwing them away because I do have some very nice budget friendly markers that the nibs are great on. Um, the Cali Arts, the, the John G seem really good too. I'm going to check them and I love the fact that the lids are stackable. So, you know, I'm going to see how those nibs hold up. Um, the Shuttle Arts seem to hold up really well also. Would any of you still be coloring with this marker? I mean, I'm just kind of curious. <laughs> I mean, how? Okay, let's do one more. We'll see. I mean, you never know. I just don't want to sit here for three hours, you know, or anything. I think we're already at close to 30 minutes. And that was, yeah, I really didn't want to have more than maybe a 30 minute video doing this because I understand. This can probably be pretty boring. Yeah, this is probably going to be about it because truly at this point, you're not 
still coloring. And it's like I said, I'm not going to go as far as switching nibs and and all of that because the the bullet nib would be so difficult. It would take so long to put these lines down with the bullet nib. But Calliart, you have done very well by us today. For sure. I did not expect to get this much, honestly. Do we keep going or do we stop? <laughs> I mean, I don't really know. We'll do one more and see what happens. Because, I mean, it does seem when I first put the nib down that it is wanting to give me a little more ink. But I don't think this is no longer a juicy marker. Okay, that's, I guess, the point I'm trying to get at with this is this is just no longer a juicy marker this marker is not something you would want to be coloring with at this point so at this point we're just kind of seeing at what point does she say I'm done um, and I don't really think I'm gonna do another page I mean this is just not see you have to go over it a lot to get any type of coverage. This is no longer a marker that you would want to try to color with. And I don't know if you guys, I don't think you guys saw that. This is what I did. I just kind of started doing this. See how it's not covering? And that's, yeah, this is not a marker you would want to color with. So... This Cali art is done. Thank you for your sacrifice, Mr. Cali Arts. Yeah. I'm putting the lines on here, but I'm not even sure we should count this page at all, to be honest, because this is really not a marker you would want to color with. So, Yeah, now I am putting very hard pressure to get any ink out at all. So, I mean, I'm pressing down as hard as I can without, you know, absolutely destroying the nib. So that is the end of Mr. Cali Art. Okay, that marker cannot be colored with anymore. It's colored out. So, let's see, that was our last page. And then we had this page. And then this page. And you can see all these white lines. I mean, it was giving out. Slowly, it was starting to give out. We've got two awesome pages and a pretty okay third page with that Cali art and then it slowly just started giving out from there okay so now we have to finish up Mr. John G over here I sip of my coffee and let's do this Why did markers screak? Even the Cali Arc didn't screak real bad as it started running out. Yeah, guys, I don't know. I think we're going to get three pages out of this is what we're going to get. I 
And I think this is about what I thought would happen even with my Ohuhu's. Yeah, this is about it. <laughs> We've reached the end of this marker. We are right where we were at the very end of the Cali art. Oh, goodness. I was hoping you would do better than this, Mr. John G. I still think this would be a good marker to refill. I love that the caps are stackable, so that is still a plus. So I would say there's about half as much ink in the John G as there is in the Cali Art, maybe a little less than half. Boy, these babies are squeaky. Yeah, and that's the end of you, bud. See, we're there. Okay, what does the other end do? Oh yeah, the other end still says, let's color! <laughs> but I'm sure the other end of the Cali Art says the same thing. Let's see? Yep. Okay. So, we got three pages here. Ends with our Cali Arts. We got, were well, we gonna count this page? You guys remember? It's somewhere between six and seven. I really say that the seventh page is not that countable, but I mean, the last page on the John G didn't do all that great either. So yeah, it looks like, it looks like we got seven pages maybe, we'll say out of the Cali Arts, and three pages out of the John G's. So a little less than half the amount of ink. Let's pause this video and I'm going to see if I can find something to take these markers apart with and we'll look inside. Okay, I have no idea how easy or hard <laughs> this is going to be. Normally it is the, I guess, this end that will easily come out. I've got Gary's pliers. Well, they're really my mother-in-law's pliers. These are kind of rusted. Gary's tools are actually pretty good, but they're out in the shed. So let's see if I can wiggle this out. There we go. Here we come. All right. So this is the inside of a Cali Art. Let's put this over on a white background. We're just going to take a look at what the inside of our markers look like. For any of you who have never seen the inside of your markers, I have definitely taken mine apart before. Okay, this is your nib, it's your chisel. Okay, and there's the broad nib, that's what they look like. All right, this is our ink what holds our ink. And here's our lids. Okay, that is the inside of a Kelly Art. Now, out of curiosities, let's take apart our John G. Okay. Get a grip on it. Let's see. Oh, ha ha, pop that out. Okay tip. Okay, first of all, I see that this nib, see there's still a lot of ink right there. And this is the John G, so there's still ink in there. The nib's bigger. You see that? Alright, let's see what the inside is that looking like. There's our other lid. 
and let's get our chisel nib out so we can see it. Okay. All right, let's keep in mind, Callie Art's on the left, John G's on the right. We're just gonna put the different pieces together, Callie Art versus John G, just so we can kind of look at them. And Callie Art's, excuse me, Callie Art's on the left, not the right. We're just gonna look at the pieces of all of our marker. There you go. Zoom you guys in so you can see all the parts of the markers. It looks like the John G is actually a little longer here ink-wise. There's like plastic on this so it doesn't leak. The Cali Arts I don't know, they're about the same size, but I would definitely say that there's more ink. So what I would say here is if you were to get the John G's and refill them, because I mean they're well made, and refill them, you would be able to probably hold more ink in the John G in your refills. But I think Cali Art definitely comes with more ink straight out of the box. Your nibs are bigger in your John G than in your Cali Art. Um, the chisels, the chisels are pretty darn close. Yeah, I'd say your chisel tips are almost identical in both quality size and everything. So you're getting a little larger nib in the John G's. So there you have it. There is about half, maybe a little less than half of the amount of ink, at least in this black and in this black. Okay, all markers could possibly be different. So you're probably looking at $16.40 to get the, ex um, to get probably the exact same amount, but then you would actually have more ink in the John G's once you bought both sets probably. So, yeah, about eighteen, uh, about $16.40 versus $23.99. So, yeah, I mean, I guess you have to, to look at it as, as what you would, you know, what you want to do with these long term. If you're going to get them and refill them, I would go with the John G's. It's $8.19. You get 45 markers opposed to 40. And you're going to refill them. It looks like the reservoir is actually um, a little larger in the John G, so it would hold more when you refilled. The nibs look on the money the same to me quality wise so yeah there you have it I hope you enjoyed this video if you're new to my channel thank you for sticking with me through this little experiment and um, please consider subscribing we would love to have you here and until next time guys peace love and happy coloring bye